How does menstruation influence women's sexual desire? What is aftercare and BDSM and why is it important? Hello to all lovers of psychology and sexuality. Today, we will unveil the sexual curiosities of women. If you are interested in these topics, make sure to subscribe and activate the notification bell to not miss our future videos. Also, leave us comments and share your experiences in the section below. Let's get started. The influence of menstruation on sexual desire varies from woman to woman. Some women may experience an increase in desire during their menstrual cycle due to hormonal changes, while others may feel less interest due to physical discomfort. Sexual response during menstruation is highly individual. Aftercare in BDSM refers to the emotional care and support provided to participants after a BDSM session or encounter. It is important because it helps participants process emotions, promotes emotional and physical connection, and can help prevent post-BDSM drop. Not for everyone. While open relationships work well for some people, they are not suitable for everyone. Some people find more satisfaction in traditional monogamous relationships, and it's okay to have different preferences regarding relationship styles. Online sexual education has gained popularity and serves as an accessible source of information on sexual health, diversity, and relationships. OnlyFans Phenomenon Platforms like OnlyFans have allowed creators of erotic content to monetize their work directly, challenging traditional models of the pornography industry. Open Communication Open and honest communication during foreplay is crucial for understanding each couple's preferences and boundaries. Talking about what is enjoyable and what is not can improve the sexual experience and strengthen the emotional connection. Orgasm control. Some men practice orgasm control, also known as the edging method, which involves intentionally delaying orgasm to prolong sexual pleasure before allowing themselves to climax. Orgasmic dysfunction. The inability to reach orgasm, known as anorgasmia, can affect both men and women. This can be due to physical, emotional, or health-related factors and can be treated with the help of healthcare professionals. Orgasms during childbirth. In rare instances, some women experience orgasms during childbirth. This is due to the stimulation of certain nerves and is not something all women experience, but it is a curious and little-known phenomenon. Ovulation and attraction relationship. Some research suggests that women may be more attracted to men with different genetic characteristics during ovulation. This is known as cyclic hypogamy. Pain mitigation. Gradual pressure application and the use of sex toys can help mitigate the initial pain associated with anal penetration. Pararesis, also known as shy bladder syndrome, is a condition in which a person has difficulty urinating in public situations or with others present. It can be a challenge in shared bathrooms or relationships where intimacy is a factor. PC muscle exercise. Regularly practicing exercises to strengthen the pubococcygeal, PC muscle, can help some men improve control over ejaculation. Pelvic floor training toys. Kegel exercises are beneficial for strengthening the pelvic floor. Additionally, there are sex toys specifically designed for pelvic floor training, which can help improve sexual health and prevent incontinence. Penis size. Concerns about penis size are common among men, but most women consider size not to be a crucial factor in sexual satisfaction. Communication and emotional connection are often more important. Physical and psychological causes. Erectile dysfunction can have various causes, ranging from physical problems such as cardiovascular diseases, diabetes, and obesity, to psychological causes such as stress, anxiety, and depression. Physical benefits. Foreplay is not only beneficial for sexual pleasure, but can also have positive effects on physical health, such as stress reduction, mood improvement, and strengthening the immune system. Physical exercise and erectile function. 
Regular physical activity and aerobic exercise can improve erectile function by enhancing cardiovascular health and increasing blood flow throughout the body, including the penis. Pleasure without sex. It's possible to experience sexual pleasure without the need for sexual intercourse. Erogenous stimulation of other body parts, such as the neck, breasts, or thighs, can lead to orgasm in some individuals. Point A is an area inside the vagina that some women find particularly sensitive. Stimulation of this area can lead to intense orgasms and is less known than the G-spot. Polyamory versus open relationships. Although often used interchangeably, polyamory involves having multiple romantic and often deep relationships, whereas open relationships may focus more on sexual exploration with other people without necessarily seeking additional romantic relationships. Pornography and freedom of speech. Pornography raises debates about freedom of speech and the limits of what is considered protected speech, generating discussions about individual rights and social responsibility. Pornography and sexual fantasies. Pornography can serve as a source of inspiration for sexual fantasies, allowing people to explore and experiment with scenarios and practices that may otherwise be inaccessible or unsafe. Pornography in popular culture. Pornography has influenced popular culture in various ways, from music to film and fashion, permeating different aspects of contemporary society. Positions for exploring new sensations. Exploring new sexual positions can be exciting and rewarding for many women, as it allows them to discover new ways of pleasure and enjoyment with their partner. Postpartum secondary anorgasmia. After childbirth, some women experience secondary anorgasmia due to hormonal changes, fatigue, stress, or concerns related to motherhood. Posture and body language. Confident posture and positive body language, such as eye contact and a smile, can be very attractive as they convey confidence and self-esteem. Potential benefits. For some people, open relationships can strengthen the emotional connection with their primary partner by allowing them to explore their sexuality together and share new experiences. Power role fantasies. Some people enjoy sexual fantasies involving power roles, such as boss-employee, teacher-student, or doctor-patient. These fantasies can provide a safe way to explore consensual power exchange in a controlled environment. Prevalence of sexual dysfunction. Sexual dysfunction, which includes problems such as erectile dysfunction and lack of sexual desire, is common in men and women of all ages and can have multiple causes, including physical, psychological, and emotional factors. Prevalence. Anorgasmia affects people of all ages and genders. It is estimated that between 10% and 15% of women experience anorgasmia at some point in their lives. Prevention methods. Consistent and correct use of condoms during sexual intercourse remains one of the most effective ways to prevent the transmission of STDs. Human sexuality is a fascinating and diverse field that never ceases to amaze us. Sexual curiosities unveil the wonderful complexity of the human experience in the intimate realm. As we explore and understand these facts, it is crucial to remember that each individual is unique in their sexual experience. Respecting and communicating with your partner are the keys to a satisfying and healthy sexual life. Sexual education and understanding are essential tools for fully embracing our sexuality.